we try to keep fun. <laughs> yeah. On the MJ and Adam show. <laughs> but there's still topics that we feel that we need to discuss. Yeah. So, you know, hard things have to be discussed sometimes. Mm, sometimes. Many times. Hey, everyone. Welcome to another episode. We're the hosts. My name is MJ. My name is Adam. Today, everyone, we're going to get a little deep. We're going to get actually very deep and very serious. Mm. But before that, just want to say thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for always supporting us. Yep. Click that like button if you enjoy this video. Uh, subscribe. We have a join button down there. You can become member Ninaru. I think it was in Japanese. <laughs> oh, yeah. Where you can help support us every month. Mm. Uh, because me and Adam are trying to grow this thing into something bigger where we can help you all even more. Mm. So definitely go down, check out some of the perks. We do some live streams, some special topics just for you. Uh, it's going to be fun. And on also on top of that, I'm doing special live streaming every week now. So definitely follow SNS accounts and, and be on the lookout. Yeah. New things are happening. Growth is happening. happening. Spring is springing. <laughs> so let's get into the topic, everyone. It's the opposite of growth. Mm. It is something that's going to bring everyone down, but it's something that needs to be talked about. Today, yeah. we're going to be talking about Asian hate crimes. Mm. So this is a really sad bit of news that has been going around, and it's it's really has sparked off because of people's lives being taken. Yeah. Now, just like how the whole Black Lives Matters movement started, mm. a life was taken and it was like, that's enough, that's too much. People, it like flicked a switch where people decided like, we need to be outgoingly like active about how much we disagree with this style of behavior. Right. In Atlanta, Georgia, eight people were killed, gunned down, six of whom were of Asian descent, six Asian women. And it was just heartbreaking news mm. to hear because after like communities coming together to, to say, let's stop with the racist acts of violence mm. all over the world, yeah. months ago it was to help the people of black heritage and now, like, it just came up again. But now it's just a different it's, type of person. Yeah, yeah. A different type of ethnicity from a different culture. Mm. And where does it happen? Uh, yeah, sparks off in America. Which is like, man, like, how much... Many times we talk about on our mm. show how it's like... North America, where we grew up, we felt was so good because it was such a melting pot of yeah. different experiences, cultures, different people. We could learn so much. Mm -hmm. But then, I guess, from all the good, there's the bad side as well. But... There was a different thing that was that was put on the spotlight because the killer mentioned that it wasn't a hate crime. Mm. It was this kind of sexual angst that he had yeah. and uh, maybe an addiction that turned him to do this horrible thing. Mm. All right. And then, again, if you watch the news, there's a lot of different bad things that happened after that. The police were saying that it was just like he was having a bad day. They were trying to, like, almost make light of it. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Like, like he, he yeah. you know, he was at the end of his robe, put, you know. A lot of people are saying, like, no, this is an Asian hate crime because of what has happened within the past year. Right. A lot of people looking at Trump saying, you planted a seed of hate towards any anybody of Asian descent right. by calling this flu uh, that causes pandemic, uh, the China, the China flu, virus. China virus. Yeah. It turned into like a thing of where like that's the mentality of people who supported him mm. and that stayed in there and that could continue forward to this this incident that right, happened, right. this murder that happened. I'm, I'm talking too much. Adam, <laughs> like, what do you think, dude? This is like Honestly, yeah. I'm on the side of whatever you just said, <laughs> everything you just said. And I do feel that the seed was planted. No matter how insignificant and how many people say that, no, it's not connected. Like, as soon as former President Trump said China virus and was adamant that it was not coronavirus, it was China virus, I did foresee this would blow up and, and mm. people would start taking action, you know? I always talk about guns and stuff like that, how yeah. gun violence in America is, is really ridiculous and have owning a gun because your your rights in the, the Constitution. American Constitution yeah, yeah. says you are able to. But I think it just gives people the ability to take situations into their own hands and the access is too easy. And this is just not just saying that America is bad and like every other country is the best because they don't have 
similar gun laws. But, I mean, even in Canada, these mm. Asian hate crimes have happened and are happening still. And because I'm in Japan and I have Japanese friends and I have a wife who's Asian, Japanese, my kids are half Japanese, like friends in America, friends in Canada who are yeah. from China and all around Asia and their, their parents are, you know, Asian descent and stuff like that. Anytime I hear something like that, yeah. it like makes me sick. Yeah. And I get really sad and depressed. Like if that happened to my friend or my family member, I don't know what I would do. It really is sad when you hear that mm. now there's people that are going to have to live in fear. Yeah. Now that is something that has been continuously going on for yeah, the yeah. black community oh, yeah. in North America. Now we see Asian Americans now even more being yeah, like, who yeah. when's the next one going to happen? Exactly. Yeah. Because it does happen. Look at all the school shootings that happen in the States. Right. And that's the thing, yeah, connected to the, the gun control or mm. lack thereof right. control where that's the worst part of it like mm. it is easy to get a gun right and y- once you have it if uh, the wrong person gets it mm-hmm. they can take lives so quickly, quickly yeah the not so so again everyone this is a really deep topic yeah. and something that a lot of people i'm sure are looking at the U.S. and being like, wow, okay, like, just confirmed, America's Ameri- a scary place, yeah, yeah. and it's a dangerous place, they have guns and mm. stuff, and now they are targeting people of Asian descent, yeah. so, hey, if you're Japanese, I'm sure you're going to be like, well, I'm not going there mm. anymore. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I don't blame you. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. this is ridiculously horrible things that yeah. have happened to to so many types of people. But mm. in this instant, it's very focused on the Asian community. Yeah. So I just want to say that it's not everybody. And I'm sure you all yeah, know yeah, yeah, who's yeah. watching yeah. that there are so many different types of people mm. from the good and the bad. Right. And it's sad to say that what the news highlights mm. is, of course, the bad, right. mostly. And also, we can't really help it, but our brains will remember the bad a lot more, a lot more than yeah. all the good that's yeah. happened. But so there's there's a, a stereotype, of course, with everyone uh, living in America mm. that is not Caucasian, who's not white. And this is a big problem. And the Asian community is also a part of it. And in this case, there were talks about sex work massage parlors Mm. and how in the western world and even on movies and tv shows there's like like small jokes that kind of lead to or or different types of scenes of movies like maybe like mob movies and it's like okay they go to a massage parlor which is actually a place for sex work Mm. like that's the image that has been put into the society so that is actually a real problem and it's not being helped by Hollywood and all these production companies just pushing it as like, yes, that's what it is. Right. And you don't really know about it because if you're not living there and you don't see the real life, the real like grit, the, the horrible things that happen. I mean, every country, again, there's horrible things. There's horrible people, mm. horrible industries taking advantage of people just to make yeah, money yeah, yeah. to traffic people, sex slaves. Like it goes it's too deep, too deep, <laughs> too deep on so many negative levels. Yeah, yeah. But this highlighted how Asian women mm. are seen again, not 100 percent, not everybody. Yeah. But is, there, there's a stereotype of massage parlors mm. and that equals a sex shop. Right. Now, it is connected even to Japan because I remember when I first moved to Japan and I was walking down the street after going to Izakai with all my friends and like quiet street and there would be women of not Japanese descent. Oh. Other Asian countries. Yes. That were offering... the uh, Services. <laughs> offering services. Yeah. And I noticed after a while that that was the majority of the girls who or the women who were working in that industry. Mm. And it's just been highlighted and we can only do so much about it. There has been organizations created to help Asian Americans and Southern Island people for Mm. people living in North America. You can look into it, donate, and that is something really small that we can do to help. It's it's just something that I think everyone needs to know about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you didn't know about it, hopefully this video maybe has opened up a door and then you can continue the research for yourself. You know, we try to keep fun. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, the MJ and Adam show, but there's still topics that we feel that we need to discuss. Yeah, so you know, hard things have to be discussed sometimes. Mm, sometimes, many times, because there's not going to be a solution if we just cover it up and don't talk about it. Right, or just get angry 
internally and, and don't talk about it or don't do anything about it. That's the, the biggest thing. It's like, what can we do? And if we can't do anything, what can we say? All, well, all I can think of is yeah. just support. Yeah. Send support. Mm. Join a rally. Let people from our side, yeah. of course, especially the non-Asian people, people to yeah. show the support yeah. that we have for, for the culture yeah, and yeah. for the people. This stuff's got to stop. We're it trying does. to move forward we are in this world. It's so hard. <laughs> and, yeah. you know, aliens ain't going to come no. to hang out <laughs> yeah. if they see that we're all just Killing hurting each, each other, other all the time. Because we're different. Yeah. It was like, we, we're not even human. <laughs> yeah. Think about <laughs> what they're going to do to, to us. <laughs> Man. Okay. Yeah. But again, not to make light of the situation. <laughs> yeah. It's really bad. It's really bad. Uh, that's all the time we have for this video, everyone. Let us know what you think in the comments mm. about this horrible, heinous act that is happening and and hopefully it stops hopefully people wake up because mm. it i feel like that's what this coronavirus has kind of caused yeah. a sense of of really waking up to see problems real problems that have always been there mm. but now they are exposed exposed yeah that's it like the video subscribe to the channel become a member if you can thank you for everyone who is already a supporter and a member yes and if you want to get in touch with us you can hit us up on our sns channels mostly instagram but we also got tiktok facebook and twitter as well yeah that's it we'll see you on, on the, the next, next step, step.